Good morning everybody, it's Tim Wilde here from snowy Sutton, Britain and uh, we had an amber alert for snow last night but as you can see there's only a little bit and uh, it may, always makes me laugh what happens in England when we get a bit of snow. Everything just grinds to a halt, everybody rushes to the shop to buy bread and milk and um, as you know I work very regularly in countries like Finland and Sweden and uh, an inch of snow is it's, it's not even worth getting out of bed for over there, everything carries on as normal. So I hope, hope you're in, enjoying the scenery around me, I am. It's very chilly, so there's probably be a fairly short video. And um, first of all, we're celebrating, or I'm celebrating, the festival of Imbolc today, which in Britain, so the, the ancient Celts used to celebrate it as the coming of spring. It's now the time of year, despite the cold and the, the the potentially oppressive weather where the buds are appearing on the trees the snowdrops are coming out and and the daffodils are starting to show their faces and it's probably one of my favorite times of year um, simply because I like the optimism of the the, the minute longer in, in the evenings and and seeing just 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 seeing the changes <clears throat> I think they're very beautiful and I, I always feel the energy of spring at this time of year and I've got a couple of subjects that I want to talk about today and one of them is potentially rather sensitive but I have been asked repeatedly to give my opinion on what has been occurring with the lovely Doreen Virtue. Now Doreen is a fellow Hay House author um, and she's also a lady that I looked and still look up to a great deal. Um, and was around when I first started waking up. I have multiple packs of her cards, and um, it was actually one of, one of my favourite packs of her, her, her kind of her reading cards, the fairy cards that actually told me to take my step in 2008. Um, told me that I was right about a circumstance that I was I was being gut, you know, that gut hunch that you get. And her cards finalised it for me, and I'll never forget that. And um, what's been occurring at the moment is there seems to be a lot of fear about the situation and um, the, there's been some very, very good information put out by the wonderful Steve Noble and Amanda Ellis as well have both written and spoken very comprehensively about what's going on and I'm not going to say too much about the, the negativity or the, the kind of the, like the down vibration side of it but you know what I want you to look at is what happens to a, a human being like myself, like you, like anybody else who decides to step on the spiritual pathway and put absolutely everything that they have into it. It's, it's not an easy pathway. There's, the second you take that, that, that staff in your hand and, and you bang it on the floor and go, I am ready, the universe will send you test after test, initiation after initiation, you know all this, we've been through it, we're all on this spiritual pathway now, some of you are just starting, some of you have been on it for many years, <clears throat> but the tests never end, <laughs> you know, in order to hold the light that we hold and to, to speak the voice that we, we, you know, use the voice that we speak with and to teach the information that we teach with, we have to be of a, of a certain caliber, we have to be of a certain vibration, we have to have experienced a set of circumstances that push us beyond our, 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 our normal boundaries of safety. And Doreen over the years has been through many, many, many changes. Now what occurs to me is that at some point around um, the cosmic moment, 2012, her kind of I, I, the only way I'd describe it is her contract of service in the way that we knew it came to an end, it finished and there's only so many ways that um, a lady like Doreen with all of her information out there and, and all of the experiences that she's had can kind of, you know, the only way to describe it is throw in the towel and I believe that she has her legitimate beliefs, I believe that um, you know, it's it's there's something for everybody out there, but for me personally, and for all of you listening, it's down to personal discernment. I I believe myself that that organi organized and and very kind of 
rigid religious values do not have a place in our society anymore. That was, um, that was a very, very 3D thing that we all went through. It lasted a long time and it shaped a lot of people's experiences within within their chakras. And, uh, you know, we've, we're, we're, we're busy clearing out the, the kind of the effects that religious indoctrination has had on us over the thousands of years that it has been present on this earth. And what we are looking at is a resurge, like almost like a, the only way to describe it is almost like an inflation of that blueprint as it's as it's coming up within all of us. I mean, it's almost as if like what, what Doreen is experiencing, the information that she's putting out there is is serving to actually sort of as a, as a bit of a flashpoint for that particular blueprint. As with anything on this pathway, use your heart centre to gauge whether that information is for you. Personally, it's not for me. Um, anybody who that tells me that I can't do a certain thing because it's it's going to banish me to a realm of, of, of undesirable effects that 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 that, that, does, that doesn't wash with me in, in any way, shape, or form. And I happen to have worked with with Jesus myself on on many occasions, both in physical and previous lifetimes on various missions, and I know his energy very very well. And um, you know, he's he's never been one for turning around and saying, you can't do this, you can't do that, my, my way is the only way. He would sit here and tell you exactly what I'm telling you. Use your heart and do what you feel is right, you know. But the, the, the point of the conversation here, the point of the information is here, discern what is right for you. Don't let me tell you what to think and feel and what to believe and what um, and the information that you should take in you've got to trust what's right for you so all of this information that we're all being bombarded with on a daily basis social media is a is a is a very gray area at the moment you can get some very wonderful information on there and you can get some very kind of you can you can get information that will rapidly drop your vibration like a stone so and and you will feel it you know, you don't need me to kind of describe to you the, 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 what the, the things that you can you can read that will do that. You will feel it yourselves. We're sensitive beings. We're in a constant and heightened state of awareness now. So, I mean, that's pretty much what I have to say about the, the, the Doreen Virtue situation is there's a lot of people out there that are getting um, quite uh, quite scared about um, the, 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 this, this information, you know, um, should should we be kind of throwing ourselves in? You know, is is spirituality the devil in disguise? Or and no, I personally don't think it is in any way, shape, or form. I believe that all of us who are on the spiritual pathway are doing a really good job on this planet. I'm I'm happy with the work that I'm doing. And um, if you sit back and, and sit down and and count you know, what you've achieved, particularly in the last six or seven years or so, you, you can understandably be very happy with yourselves as well. Always discern your information, use your heart centre, does it feel right? If it, ins if it <laughs> it's a simple test, if it feels good, then it's right for you. If it doesn't feel good, if it makes you think in a fearful manner, if it makes you think twice, if you start kind of double double kind of guessing what you're actually doing yourself, then maybe you need to be kind of like looking at what, uh, looking what you're reading or you're receiving or you're taking on board. And it brings me straight into the chakra that I would like to work with today. We've been working with all of the other chakras from the ground upwards, from the earth star, to the, the base, to the sacral, to the navel, to the solar plexus, and now we come to my personal favourite, which is the heart centre. Now, the heart centre of this entire planet is open at a fifth dimensional frequency, and if you haven't heard me say this before, when I first received that information, it was very, very difficult for me to actually first ingest and accept, and secondly, to actually put out there, because I was thinking to myself when I received it, like, how can the heart centres of everybody on this planet be open when the planet is effectively on, you know, if you look at what's going on, it is a little bit of a mess at the moment. Things are, you know, things are still sorting themselves out rather. But I was given the, the kind of the A to Z of, of how this actually functions. Now, when you trigger a fifth dimensional heart centre at a fifth dimensional frequency and that heart centre opens, it immediately goes into conflict with the ego that's been running the show for the last 10,000 years. 
and this is where all of this kind of really really kind of amplified behaviour patterns are coming from, these behavioural patterns that you're seeing around us, the situation that I've just been talking about. Other things in social media, there's a huge vaccine debate raging at the moment, you know, with, with, with <laughs> it, it, the list goes on, the list goes on basically, but all of this is a, basically the effect that the triggering of the 5D heart globally has actually had. Now, which basically means everybody around you is being faced with their shadow. You know, they're no longer kind of just, just, you know, waltzing through life as they would do normally. Um, their heart centre is open and their ego is defending itself. So even like things that like five, six, seven years ago would not have bothered them. They're getting inflamed about it now because it's being put in their face. It's, 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 it's something that needs it. They need to fight their corner. And this will go on until the heart has established a priority, a priority vibration planet wide. Okay, it, it won't be far away. There's loads of us who are on board. There's millions of us who are on board now that are holding this high fifth dimensional heart frequency and we have overcome the majority, I'm not saying all of it, the majority of the kind of the egoic tests that have been thrown at us. And we're working at 5D. I'm sorry, I'm going to be sniffing constantly because it is cold here and <laughs> my nose is running. So. so just for a few moments, just bring your attention to your heart centre and take a bre deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth and just allow yourself completely to relax and your heart centre is pure radiant white and sat within the centre of your chest. It is not the size of a, a regular chakra like it used to be. It's much, much bigger. It's a very, very powerful heart centre. And some of you might even sense or feel or experience it like stretching from shoulder to shoulder. The more you work this, the more powerful it becomes. So take a deep breath in and exhale and just feel your heart centre expanding. Pure radiant white, you might even see a little bit of beautiful rose pink in the colour there. You might even see the colour of gold around the outside which signifies the presence of the gold ray of Christ. So just allow yourself to rest for a few moments within the vibration of your heart centre and you can allow your heart to expand around you. This chakra will send its energy and its vibration to wherever you point it. I'll explain why it's so powerful in a moment. But as you're breathing and as you're relaxing here, just allow the light from your heart to encompass you, yourself. Allow yourself to have a little bit of self-love. This is a high frequency, a fifth dimensional frequency. Just allow yourself to rest within the centre of this. Feel everything come back back to normality, back to balance, anything that you might have been worried about, anything that's come to the surface, your heart light will dissolve that. And now just take a few moments with your eyes closed or your eyes open, you can do this at any time, at any place, any time of the day, wherever you are. Allow your heart light, which will be a mixture of pure white, beautiful iridescent gold, pink, to flow to a person, to a place, to an animal, to a situation, anywhere on this planet that you know needs a little bit of extra love. And when you send it out, just be saying in your head, I am now sending this with unconditional love. There's no hooks, there's no, there's no kind of ulterior motive. You are simply sending that love to somebody, somewhere or something that needs it and just see your heart light embracing them. And this could be somebody who's struggling on their pathway, it could be somebody who's not awoken to their, the, the, their own physical, you know, their own state, their own, their own 5D heart state yet. So many people are resisting this change and they're resisting it hard. You know, their egos have, um, really kind of solidified over the last 10,000 years and are putting up an admirable, def admirable defence. So allow your heart centre to just touch their heart centre and just remind them of who they truly are. Just give it a little prod, a little bit of a wake up.
And then if you can take it a step further, you can even just allow your heart light to just flood out from the centre of your chest and envelop the planet. And then if we all, we all did this on a daily basis, we'd move into 5D very, very, very quickly. Yeah, and just, just imagine and visualise everything and everyone that your heart light touches just lighting up very, very brightly. This is not a chakra that needs activation, it has been activated already and it's planet wide as well. But like I said, the, the, the ego has been very good at defending its, its corner, its territory for the last 10,000 years or so. There are a lot of people out there who, who's, whose situation is becoming very kind of inflamed. <coughs> because the ego does not want to give up and it's got a big 3D blueprint to actually fall back on as well. So this is all stuff that we are dissolving with our incredible light and our incredible energy over the over this coming year, 2019. It's going to be an interesting year for a lot of people. Now, as you may see here, I'm holding one of my favourite symbols on the planet. This is an ankh. Now the ankh is the symbol for the fifth dimensional heart centre. This is my own personal one, it's made of citrine, it's one of my favourite stones. I don't think anything made of crystal is probably my favourite. So I like carrying an ankh, and this isn't a sales pitch or anything like this, I like carrying an ankh with me simply because it allows my heart centre to remain open and protected at all times. And it also allows me to take in more light into my bodies and fields without any kind of fluctuations. It's very, very protective. And it was the symbol that the Atlanteans used during their golden era, their 1500 year golden era, to symbolize the heart center. So if also, when you're meditating, when you're working with your heart center, you visualize a golden ankh in the center of your heart chakra, that will immediately kind of add to its power, its openness, your ability to send and receive energies to your heart centre. And you know, we're, we're moving into an era of unconditional love eventually, we're nowhere near it yet, um, you know. And it's the, the, the term unconditional love is something that I see bandied around a lot, especially in spiritual circles. You know, everything's sent with unconditional love, which is great if it is sent with unconditional love, but unconditional love means love without conditions it means love without any trace of ego or any of any of the kind of the 3d hangers on that, that that we kind of we we tend to have in our energy fields and it is a state we'll be moving into but we've got a lot of work to do on this planet before we actually do experience full unconditional love now i've told an interesting story about the masters um who have existed on this planet in physical, and we're talking about guys like Jesus, we're talking about the Lord Kathumi, Serapis Bay. Everybody who's been on Earth and experienced life on Earth, especially in 3D, carries an ego blueprint of some variety, even when they're up in the fourth, you know, the, the, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth, the ninth, the tenth dimensions. Because we've learned about the ego, that will always be part of their blueprint. So unconditional love is where we are moving to on this planet. If you are experiencing big ego stuff at the moment, roll with it. It means you're actually doing something right. <laughs> Although it's, you know, it might not feel like it if you've got people around you that are being very, very egoic and very kind of like reactive in their responses. Use that, that, um, that uh, meditation, that walking meditation that I've just done with my heart. To, to actually dis diffuse the situation and you will not only feel better yourself but you'll also immediately notice the wind kind of going out of any situation around you but it does require a non-responsive kind of meditation you can't kind of lose you <laughs> can't kind of lose the plot completely then go and do it you've got to kind of have your heart open and be ready to send the light in, in that kind of circumstance but you know we all have our bad days and we all have our good days that's what the spiritual pathway is about and like I, you know, like I was saying, the last final note on, on what's going on with Doreen Virtue is like, just use your discernment. If her new work is for you, that is absolutely fantastic, brilliant, go for it. But if it's not, then step away from anything which you feel might be fear-based for you personally at the time. 
Anyway, I'm sending you lots of love and um, next time you see me, it will probably be looking significantly more spring-like. So, bye for now.